Hi, my name is Brody Hutchins and I'm the Vice President of Sales for the Vogela products in North America. And today we're at our Work in America Technology Days here in Nashville, Tennessee with 1,200 of our closest friends and customers looking at new products and technology. And one of those products is right here, the Super 2100-5. Uh, this is actually brand new in the last few months to North America and it's the first Dash 5 product that we've brought from the factory into North America. So we're excited about the Dash 5 because it's actually a bit of a preview of what's going to come on some of our other products in the future. But specific to the Dash 5 on the Super 2100, this is our specialty machine primarily for base, roller compacted concrete, cement treated base, soil cement, etc., even thick lift asphalt. So the Dash 5 has got a lot of stuff that you don't actually see on the machine, it's more inside the machine. Some upgrades versus the last products that we've done. One of the things that has been a big, big hit is the hydraulic end gates, where no longer do you need to crank those by hand, but you hit, hit a button and they hydraulically raise and, and lower. And in, we continue to develop our leveling systems where you can't see it right now, but we've got fantastic lighting because a lot of the work is done at night. So under these sensors, not only they're sensing, but they also serve as lights for the area around it. And again, the similar but upgraded uh, auger sensors. But when we get back to you know, the machine, building on everything from the Ergo Plus system from the previous version, I could point to this and say, this is new, this is new, this is new but there's nothing new on here. It's the same intuitive layout with some upgrades on, on feel and function, but it's really the brains of, of what's in the machine now that, that does the different things. There's so much more automation. There's so much more integration of technology, especially in terms of 3D, where we go out to a job and you load the job model and then the width, the steering, the grade and the slope, we're trying to make the machine do more of the work and the precision by itself and take out the human error potential for that. So on the back of the screed, this is really where, where everything happens on this machine. You can see down below, those are the pressure bars. And again, these machines are used for very thick lifts and, and different types of base material as well as asphalt. So there's a tamping device on the front of the screed plate the main screed plate for the smoothing, and then on the back, the pressure bars, which really um, not only create density, but also create smoothness. And the benefit of a machine like this versus, uh, let's say, a traditional North American paver is that the compacting devices are not in typical North American pavers. They have vibration, which does more smoothing than anything else. So with a machine like this, the benefit of it is behind the screed, you're at a much, much higher percentage of density than you are with a traditional machine. So it not only gives you more precisions, especially with a thicker lift and, and drier material, but you get fewer passes with the roller. So then you're, you're coming in and you, your roll down is much, much more precise and predictable based on a high level of of density here as opposed to something that might be 10% less less dense that you need to try to do with the roller and just gives you another potential to create an unsmooth mat. One of the last things to look around, there's been a lot more focus on the operator comforts of these machines as well. So not only a canopy for shade, et cetera, but the lighting. These lights are amazing. They light the whole area, they light the right area, and it's bright to meet state requirements, et cetera. But when this thing gets packed away, the shades come in, the lights come in, and the canopy goes down, and you put it on the back of the truck. So more and more, it's, it's really about the, the paver operator and the screed operators being not only precise, but being comfortable and safe. The ideal customers for these machines are 
contractors putting in base material like roller compacted concrete and cement treated base, soil cement, and some specialty asphalt applications, particularly on thick lifts. But I'd say the coolest application for machines like this has been on Formula One tracks and other race tracks as well, NASCAR tracks, etc. But there's actually a specification that existed that we were able to meet and we've become synonymous with paving Formula One tracks along with the Hom rollers behind them. So we've been able to go out and um, build even thin lifts that sustain 200 plus mile an hour Formula One cars. For the latest in construction equipment, sign up for our daily newsletter. Just click the link below.